Hey guys, welcome back for the word profile video. I noticed checking your spelling notebooks that we ran into some trouble. Some shark infested waters. And that's going to happen when you don't work as hard or do things as well as you can. So I'm back with the new word profile video and we're going to do it better. We'll be able to jump over those sharks. Now, I have to say it and I have to say it several times. You will get smarter if you study. If you use dip time to work hard, you will become smarter. There's no question about it. All right? We got this. If you study these words, it'll be as easy as pie. You ready? Let's go. Okay, so for your road word profiles, same as before with a couple additions. This is what you should include for each word. How many syllables? The number of vowels? and number of letters, silent vowels. Words within the word. You have to push yourself here. We'll talk about that today. You're going to get a dictionary definition. If you think it would work, look for a, at a thesaurus, see other words that mean similar things, in your personal rule. Okay, are you ready to go? So, first thing I need to do is look at my word list. And of the 20 words, I actually did pretty well yesterday. So I'm going to choose words that I like, that maybe I don't know so well, and I just want to use in my spelling. So right away I see annual. I like that word. Humid. It's kind of a tough one for me to understand. Museum. I'm interested in museum because of the z sound. Um, what else am I going to do? Future has an interesting sound to me, and I'm going to go with youth. So that's five words at least. If you got more than that wrong, do more than that. Okay, so then you have to get out your word work notebook and start with your first word. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to start with the word humid. And the first few things I need to do, I'll just do them in one chunk, are syllables number of vowels and number of letters and silent vowels. So I'm ready to go. Okay, so I labeled humid. Humid. I notice that it's two syllables. Okay. I also, when I look at it, I see that there are two vowels, the U and the I. There are five letters, H-U-M-I-D, and nothing is silent. Okay, so the first part is done. Now I go back and look at my list. Okay, the fun part. Words within the word. Let's see. This seems like it'll be a tricky one. All right, so humid. Let's see. Right away, without changing anything, I see hum. Um, dim. Mud. I see a lot of three-letter things. The U and the I combination are a tough one, but you keep pushing yourself, okay? So I'm going to stop there for now. Um, if you go back, okay, so now that I've done my um, words within the word, I see that the next step is the dictionary. Now this is new for you. There are several dictionaries up on the counter. You can grab either you could just have one at your table. You don't need your own. There's not enough for you to have your own. But if they're at your table, there'll be one for you to use when you're ready. So I'm going to look up the word humid. Okay, so I looked it up in the um, children's uh, illustrated dictionary, which I really like. And I see it up here in the upper left corner, um, humid. It's kind of hard to see, but it's here. Sorry about that, that it's not very clear. And the definition it says is warm and damp. And it says that it's an adjective, so it means it's used to describe. So I go back to my notebook, and I'm going to now add in that definition. Um, warm Sorry, it's really hard for me to write on this. And 
damp. Ooh. I apologize. This is not the easiest thing to write on. There we go. That'll be easier. Damp. Let me get rid of that weird line. Okay. And I would also like to put the part of speech. It's an adjective. Just gives us a way to a different way to start thinking about the word. Okay? The next thing you can use is a student thesaurus. Man, and I love thesauri or thesauruses, whatever you want to say. They're just great ways to get other ideas for the word. They really make you smarter. So you're going to look up your word in your thesaurus. So I'm going to look it up in this. Okay, so when you look into a um, thesaurus, it'll look like this where it kind of looks like a dictionary where it just lists the word. But instead of giving a definition or a sentence, it gives other words that mean similar things. They're syn synonyms. Um, see, here I find that it has humidity, not humid. It's Other words it lists are moisture, dampness, mugginess, wetness, dew, it's like a liquid. So what this does is in my writing, if I'm using the word humid, I don't always have to use humid. I can use these other words that are similar. And then just so you know, as you're using this, these are the main entries up here. But these children's th thesauri have this great feature down here where if the word is in a main entry, um, it is listed down here in the yellow, and it just gives you one word. So it also has humid down here and says damp or tropical. So that's a good thing to notice. Now, what I'll do now, man, I'm having a hard time with the screen today, is I'll go back to my notebook, and with my weird pen, I'm going to add tropical... Um, what else did I have? I already forgot. Tropical, damp, moisture. Okay, damp, moisture. So what we're doing is even if we know how to spell the word, we're starting to think more about the word, more about what it means. Okay? And then I believe the final step here is now we are ready for a rule. And I'm sorry guys, but your rules were not readable. Okay? They need you need to write in complete sentences. So even in my weird pen, I'm gonna write a word that or a rule that I think you can read and make sense. So let me do that. Okay, so here's my rule. Again, I'm sorry about this pen. It's so hard to write on this thing. Um, my rule is, I remember that it's two syllables, and H-U is hue, even though it looks like hum. And what I'm saying is, if you look at humid, the beginning, it looks like it should be humid, right? So I actually need to memorize that, that it's hue, just H-U, and then mid. So that's my little reminder to myself. That's my little rule. If I had a little brother or sister, which I don't, that's how I would teach them humid. It's humid, H-U makes the hue there. Okay? So you're pushing yourself to do five or six of these. Um, you need to really push. You need to, like, think about these. They need to be readable. Some of you squished your stuff in so much that it's like, you couldn't read it, I can't read it. It doesn't really help you. Um... But if you work hard, you'll know these words better, you'll spell them better, you'll use them in your writing. So, I hope you have a good day. That's how I feel today after all that candy and hyperness. And work hard. All right, enjoy dip.